In this video, you will learn about finding acceleration of anybody very easily. Let me ask you, do you know about delta V and delta T? Delta V is equal to Vf minus Vi, where Vf is the final velocity and Vi is the initial velocity of a body. Whereas delta T is also equal to Tf minus Ti, where Tf is the time of final velocity and Ti is the time of initial velocity. Or I can say delta T is the time interval between initial and final velocity of a body. Remember the values of delta V and delta T. Now let consider you have decided to go to the nearby city from your home. Your car is standing in the lawn. What is its velocity here? The velocity of a car here is 0 meter per second. You come out of your home and you note down the time. The time here is 0 second. Now you start your car. You go to the city. When you enter to the city, you note down your velocity. Let it was 20 meter per second. You also noted down the time from your home to the city. Let you took 5 seconds from your home to the city. Now here, 0 meter per second was your initial velocity and 0 second was your initial time, Ti. When you reached to the city, your velocity was 20 meter per second. Now 20 meter per second is your final velocity. Vf. While well, you took 5 seconds from your home to the city. So here, 5 seconds is the final time, Tf. Let me ask you, can you find acceleration of your car from your home to the city? Let me explain it. Here the velocity of a body changed from 0 meter per second to 20 meter per second and time 5 seconds. Remember that when velocity changes, acceleration produces. Hence, the car accelerated between your home and the city. Now, acceleration is equal to change in velocity divided by change in time. I know change in velocity is equal to Vf minus Vi, while change in time is equal to Tf minus Ti. I know Vf is equal to 20 meter per second and Vi is equal to 0 meter per second. Tf is equal to 5 second, while Ti is equal to 0 second. Hence, I get acceleration is equal to 4 meter per second square. Now, if I ask you, what is mean by 4 meter per second square? Do you know its meanings? 4 meter per second square means that the velocity of your car increased 4 meter per second between your home and the city. At last, let me give you another quick and helpful example of acceleration. Now, let the initial velocity of a body is 30 meter per second at point A. Let its initial time, which I noted down was 2 second. After 8 second, the body came into rest at point B. Here 30 meter per second is the initial velocity and time 2 second is the initial time. The car stopped at point B, hence its final velocity is 0 meter per second. I know that acceleration is equal to change in velocity divided by change in time. Hence acceleration is equal to Vf minus Vi divided by Tf minus Ti. Here, Vf is 0 meter per second, while Vi is 30 meter per second. Tf is 8 second, while Ti is 2 second. As a result, I get acceleration is equal to minus 5 meter per second square. Now, what about the minus sign? It tells us that the velocity of your car decreases 5 meter per second every second from point A to the point B. In physics, such type of acceleration is known as a deceleration. I hope you have understood the concept of finding acceleration.